Hello Virgo, welcome to your mid-month reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and we'll see what messages Spirit would like to bring through for the next two weeks or so. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and just leave the rest. Guidance and messages for Virgo, please Spirit. Okay. This card here, improving health, you have some kind of improvement in health coming your way over the next couple of weeks. This may be physical health, it may be emotional health, it may be mental health, and maybe the health of a relationship or a situation that's difficult right now, but there is an improving of a situation or your health. So this is a wonderful card, a welcome card to show up in any reading. Beautiful energy there. Let's take a look at your next card. Meditation brings answers. If you do not already meditate, this is the time to do it. Your guides, your angels, source energy will come through so clearly. I'm also being told by spirit that this is necessary at this time for you to calm your mind so you can drop into your heart center and you can make a decision you, so you can know what to do next. So that's, that's powerful. So meditation is going to be incredibly powerful for you over the next coming weeks, over the next few weeks. Let's take a look at this deck. Guidance for Virgo, please, Spirit. Guidance for Virgo. Let's see. Okay, this one here feels right. It's the energy of loneliness. I know that I am never alone. And when you connect into Spirit through meditation or through other spiritual means, other activities, you can really truly sense that and know that you are never alone because you never can be alone. So there is an essence here of you connecting in to others or connecting into the universal flow. So if you have had or in the energy over the next few weeks of loneliness, it won't be bothering you anymore because when you connect in in the way that spirit wants you to and feel that out in your intuition. It might be meditation for you and for others it might mean social, socially. But in whatever way, this feeling of loneliness is temporary. It, there is an opportunity for connection. There is an abundance coming your way very soon. Beautiful. Over the next two, next two weeks, there's some kind of bountiful, beautiful, limitless energy. And it says here, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. So if you, if you are trying to manifest something, it's surely going to come through very soon for you. This card is a sign of that. There is that abundance there waiting for you. It's a shower of blessings, Virgo. And it is worth the wait. If you've been waiting a while for it, it is worth the wait. The Spirit is telling me it is worth the wait. Let's see what this deck reveals, please, Spirit. A message for Virgo, please. A message for Virgo. A message for Virgo. Intuition. Listen to your intuition, of course. The power of intuition will light your path, providing a connection to the divine. So you have that message once again coming through, through your connection to the divine, to your angels, to your guides, to source energy. Your intuition will be heightened and it's going to light your path in some way. So some reveal, some knowledge is going to be coming through for you that you'll understand that will be real, that will have real meaning in your life. Abundance. Okay, so we have that card twice, or so the message twice. So it means it's an important one. I mean, it, it means it is an important message. 
and it says on this card harmonize your thinking with exactly what you desire to attract and the universe will deliver so it is becoming you becoming in alignment so then you can attract what you truly want into your life because if there are relationships or situations that you don't like in your life unless there's some kind of karmic situation going on there it's because of your intention it's because of your energy where it's gone and it's come back towards you unless there's a karmic thing going on like I said so so there is a powerful energy over the next two weeks for you to be able to manifest bring in the abundance that you want in your life Let's see, with this deck, please, Spirit, guidance for Virgo, guidance for Virgo. Let's see what these cards reveal. You have the healer. I am loving and compassionate and able to bring healing to others. You may be a light worker. You may be an energy healer. You may be healing others with your words, with your friendship, with your work, with your life purpose you are a healer in some way even if it is not the traditional thing it doesn't matter you are a healer in some way this may resonate on the level of you needing to be healed so it may be emotional or physical but you've got two of these cards now that speak of the same thing your very first card was about improving health and we have the healer so it's very possible you have a healer coming in to your life if you need it yes beautiful okay let's take a look at one more card from this deck and it's transformation I journey within to meet my higher self and to find true happiness. Beautiful. This can be a difficult path to tread. Transformation, you can see in the image that it looks a bit dark and gloomy and scary and closed in with these branches and trees and it look, feels and looks quite narrow so it can be difficult to see your way out of a situation that you're transforming through it is a journey and you are going to come out the other side and when you do come out the other side there is you're going to be it's going to be completely new you're going to be and feel renewed and as it says on this card in alignment with your higher self and true happiness can then enter your life guidance for Virgo please spirit guidance for Virgo let's see what this deck reveals for you review and contemplation You've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what's next. As you contemplate the past and the present, you'll get clear on your divine life purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking. Be the real you. Be the real you. I love that. So this is judgment. It's about making a decision that may change the path that you're on you might be reviewing contemplating something that's happened recently in your life or something in your deep past but no matter what you are reflecting on there is a need to acknowledge your accomplishments there is a need to pat yourself on the back for the breakthroughs that you've had so far and you will get clear on your direction if you are unsure at the moment so the three of thought loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you the sadness you feel will fade away in time and then you'll be able to see clearly how important the situation has been for your spiritual growth 
Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. Okay, so there's been some heartache, there's been sadness in some respect and I'm not surprised that card has come up because with transformation here, this is a big energy and this often is a difficult situation, difficult time. So it really, Spirit is saying here, you're expanding beyond where you are, where your station is at the moment. You're expanding beyond that. That's the, that's the direction. Messenger of abundance, wonderful news regarding your career. A new job, a promotion or acceptance into an excellent school comes into your life. You might feel ready to do something that's challenging and fulfilling. This situation may involve someone who's fun to be around and, some, and sometimes mischievous. This person who may be you is youthful, optimistic and very clever. So this may be... Um, Someone that's around you that is youthful, someone who's optimistic, someone who's intellectual or clever, smart. There's also an energy here of good news or information around education or around work or around that area of life for you. Yes. And the five of thought, the path you were on seemed like the right one, but now you've run into a challenge. There's a better direction for you that will make you much happier in the end. Changes are necessary so that you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are draining or who bring unwanted drama into your life. So release the drama, release the people that are causing drama in your life or reflect if that's you. And it seems like you thought that you were going down a particular path, but you're being guided now in a different direction, which is better for you. And the healer of action. So you have another healer energy coming through. So that's three in this reading. So this is a very important message about healing. This is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. I feel this is your energy. I feel you will be accepting any issues, problems with grace and being in the flow over the next couple of weeks. I really do. I really do sense that there is an opening of your heart to a new phase, a new situation, a new person, perhaps. I do see that as well. And there's a need with this energy for you to make a difference in some way, making a difference in your own life or maybe someone else's life. Mm, beautiful. I love that. Okay, some gorgeous cards, Virgo, for you. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, Virgo, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.